Discovering God Through Nature and Art with Matushka Elisa Psalm 150 verse 6 says, Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. We know people can praise the Lord. How could animals praise the Lord? Perhaps by behaving just as God made them. Let's take a closer look at an animal, which is a popular pet, and discover how it looks and behaves. A beagle. Beagles are a type of hound dog with an extra strong sense of smell. They were originally bred to hunt rabbits, and they were also bred to have white tips on their tails so their owners could keep track of where they were. With their nose to the ground searching for scents, the dog's tails would wave like white flags saying, here I am, above the tall grass. As a household pet, a beagle will follow its nose anywhere and everywhere. It's important to have a fenced-in yard or they will wander off following every interesting scent paying no attention to where they are. As Christians, can we follow trails too? What if we overhear someone mention a saint we don't know yet? Follow that trail. Who is that saint? When and where did they live? What did they do? What trail does Christ leave for us to follow? The Gospel. In the book of John, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. By reading the Gospel, you can follow Christ's life, his miracles, and his teachings. Besides using their noses, beagles love to use their voices. They bark like most dogs, but they also have a kind of yodel called a bay. Sometimes they do it when they're excited about their human family coming home, or when they hear music and want to sing along. Do you think they're making a joyful noise unto the Lord? Now if you're looking for a good guard dog, a beagle is not it. Beagles are just too friendly. Our beagle loves to greet anyone who comes to our front door. She's not too interested in protecting us because every visitor is a brand new friend. Besides our homes, don't we often have visitors at church? We might not bay and wiggle around like a beagle when we see them, but we can make it clear we're happy to see new people. Do you have any ideas about how to welcome church visitors? How do we normally welcome visiting bishops? Let's draw a beagle. We're going to focus on the profile. A profile is a side view of a face. Let's draw very lightly at first because we'll be erasing some guidelines. Guidelines show us where something is, but they aren't needed for the final drawing. We're starting with a square with gently rounded corners, a little tilted to the right. Then we'll go to the top corner, swoop down, curve around, and swoop up to the next corner. This is the dog's snout. We'll add the nose with a little nostril. Add a curve at the bottom for the neck and at the top for its back. Maybe you've noticed a beagle's ear is long and floppy. Begin a long wavy line at the top of its head, curve out a little, curve in, curve back out, not quite reaching the neck, Come around for a big U shape with a smooth curve all the way back to the top. In a profile view, we only see one eye. Right between the ear and the right side of the square, we're adding a sideways triangle for the eye with a curve on the right side. Let's erase some guidelines. The right side of the square and the bottom of the square. I've got a little on the left to erase too, and I think I'd like a rounder head. For details on the eye, draw a small circle where you would like the dog to be looking. I want my dog to look down. Keep that circle white because it's a reflection of light. Around the white circle, I'll color in the dark pupil of the eye. And then lightly shade in the rest for the iris, which is the colored part of the eye. A beagle often has a white stripe on its forehead. A white snout and a white neck and belly and there are often patterns on its back in white, brown, and even black. My kids added collars and named their beagles. You could add a hair bow or a bow tie or a rope in its mouth to play a tug of war. It's always fun to get creative. Thank you for joining me. Next time you see a beagle, maybe it could remind you of all the ways the Lord can be praised. <laughs>